I'll begin with the UV sphere. In edit mode, I remove the top few rows of faces and the bottom row of faces to give myself a flat top and flat bottom. I select the bottom edge loop and add a face using the F key. I then use the I key to insert the face to give it more structure. I add a solidify modifier to the cauldron to give it some volume. I select the top inner edge loop and move it up along the z-axis to make a flat top. I select the top face loop and duplicate it, separating it using the P key. This will be my lip. In edit mode, I select the outer ring of faces and using E and Alt S, I scale the lip so it's larger than the cauldron. I then select the two outer edge loops and add a bevel to round out the lip. I then repeat this process for the inner edge loops. I select an inner edge loop from the cauldron, duplicating it and separating it so I can use it as the potion. In edit mode, I then use Ctrl F to add a grid fill face. I then right click and subdivide the face so I have enough geometry for a displace modifier. In object mode, I add a displace modifier with a new texture. Under the texture tab, I change the type to clouds and the noise basis to improved purlin. I then decrease the strength of the modifier. I apply the modifier. In side view, I use shift right click to move the 3D cursor to where I want the handle. I add a bezier circle rotating it around the y-axis 90 degrees and scaling it. I move it into position and then under the Object Data Properties tab I add some bevel depth and increase the resolution. I right click and convert the curve to a mesh. In edit mode, I select the top two center face rings of the handle. I duplicate them and separate them using the P key. I use E and Alt S to scale the duplicated faces. I then scale it along the y-axis.
I then need to scale and move the object into place. I select the outer edge loops and add a bevel. In object mode, I join both objects together with the J key. and then rotate the handle around the y-axis to join it to the cauldron. I add a mirror to the handle using the cauldron as the mirror modifier. I then apply the modifier. I now use shift right click to move the 3D cursor to the place where I want to add the first foot. I add a cylinder with 16 vertices and scale it to the correct size. In edit mode, I scale the bottom faces. In object mode, I rotate the foot around the y-axis. And in edit mode, I flatten the bottom of the foot so it sits on the ground properly. I use Shift S to move the 3D cursor back to the world origin. In edit mode, I use the spin duplicates tool to add three copies of the foot. In object mode, I rotate the UV around the Z axis to give them a bit more interest. I select each object and use Shade Auto Smooth. I split the viewport into three sections and open the Shader Editor and the UV Editor. I select all the objects, and in edit mode, I UV unwrap the objects onto one UV. I have a separate tutorial about UV unwrapping, so I won't go into detail here. I make sure I save a copy of the UV map. I'll be using very simple procedural materials. I change the metallic on the principal shader to 1. For the metal, I add a color ramp and musgrave texture node. I also use the Node Wrangler add-on to add a mapping and UV texture coordinate node. I 
I changed the options on the Musgrave and color ramp nodes and changed the scale of the mapping node. I select the other metal objects and then the cauldron. I use Ctrl L to link the materials. I add a bump node and connect it to the principal shader. I then connect the color ramp to the height of the bump node and change the strength. I add a new material for the potion. I use a color ramp and Veronoi texture for the potion. In edit mode, I assign this material to the potion. And then I change the options for the two nodes. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. If you want to request a tutorial, please leave a comment below. Have a good day.